Hey, thanks for watching. This is a very quick installation. I couldn't really see the TV to the left there. I couldn't really film this uh, video because of the copyright strike. So um, the owners had the TV on in the garage, and that's exactly where I was working. So unfortunately, I tried to videotape this or uh, record it. But uh, installing a used water heater here, so I'm just kind of disconnecting it and uh, getting it ready. So it's got a gate valve on it, which I hate. I hate those gate valves, so I tried to turn it off, but I ended up uh, turning the water off at the house. So just disconnecting the straps and uh, draining the water heater. And I had to move the appliances out of the way, the washer and dryer, they didn't even move those out of the way for me. So I had to move those out of the way first. But I don't want to bore you guys with that. Uh, so yeah, just taking the straps apart here and draining the water heater and getting ready to install the new one. So this installation was on a Saturday. Uh, it was very spontaneous. They just kind of called me up out of the blue, asked me if I had a water heater and I could install it. I said, yeah, no problem. So the water heater is out now. You can kind of see the area is clear. Kind of checking out the supply lines to see if they're still good. I think I ended up putting new seals in. There's the gate valve. That thing's just garbage. Oh, I agree. Yeah, those are junk. They never shut off all the way and they never turn back on all the way. So there's uh, some of my tools right there that I've been using. So that's the the new or used water heater. It's a Ream Performance. I'm just filling it up with water and getting the air out of it. So doing that through the TMP. I ended up having to re-solder the TMP line back over and connect it. I think it came out pretty good. Um, but it's a good looking water heater. And it's in. So yeah, just getting the water out. That's the little residual water that came out of the temperature pressure relief valve. And I was just checking out the top, but there's not much going on up there. I think I was uh, examining it for the ducting, which took me a little while to get in. So this is it, complete right here. So it is installed and connected and running. And they got a janky little table there that just got soaked. The whole area just had clothes on the ground that were wet. There's the TMP line all soldered in. And the ducting is connected. I ended up reusing the supply lines. And I think it came out pretty good. I think it took me like an hour and a half or something to do this job. Anyway, thanks for checking out this video. This was just uh, kind of extra footage that I didn't want to delete. thought I'd try and put it to good use. Appreciate you watching it. Very short and sweet video. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you like videos like this and have a great day.